He's asked that you fight on May 2nd. Have you agreed to that? Whatever you want. He's also asked for more than a 50-50 share. Yes, 60-40, I'm agree to that. You agree to that? He also asked that you uh, submit to randomized testing. No problem, that's not a problem since the beginning. Popular belief is he's just ducking you. That he doesn't want to fight you because he has more to lose as the undefeated fighter. Do you feel that's true? Well, right now, I uh, I think I, I, I believe. I believe. You believe he's ducking you? Yeah. Why? Why would you? I don't know, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> he's scared to lose. <laughs> the, the, the name Lou. The name Lou is already. But in the end, here's what it comes down to. Floyd Mayweather is one of the greatest boxers in history. He is somebody, I believe, who will beat Pacquiao. But whether he wins or loses, there is no shame in anything he does except not fighting Pacquiao. I'm hearing rumors about Cotto, a rematch with Cotto. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear about Canelo Alvarez. He already took care of them. I don't want to hear about Amir Khan. or I don't want to hear about any of these guys. Not to disrespect Amir Khan because he can fight. You know, it could be a good fight. The point is, is that Floyd Mayweather repeatedly says he wants to give the fans what they want to see. We have supported him because he has made an excess of three to four hundred million dollars in his career because we have given him what he wants. It's time to return the favor. We want Pacquiao. And as far as I'm concerned, Skip Bayless, I'm not going to advocate on behalf of anybody else other than myself because I wish nothing but the best for Floyd, regardless of what he may think at this moment in time, because I'm insisting on him fighting Pacquiao. But I will not buy another fight, and I will not watch another Floyd Mayweather fight until it's Pacquiao. I want Pacquiao. I want to see Floyd give him the boxing lesson, I believe, Floyd will give him. The only shame Floyd can have with me is if he does not fight him. And if he doesn't fight him, I don't care what he says, his legacy will not be what he thinks is going to be. He will forever walk the streets being known as a guy that, that avoided Pacquiao. And by the way, Skip, Bernard Hopkins, the great Bernard Hopkins, was on my show just last week, and he said the same thing. Floyd has to fight this man. You cannot be known for running from somebody mm. and be seen as a great champion. It just can't happen. I say amen. All I can figure. You know, I... I, 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 I have nothing else to say. I, I'm, do, I'm done trying to explain. I'm done trying to explain Floyd or whatever. And, and he doesn't understand. I have some resentment, too. He thinks he's got resentment towards me. Damn it, I'm reciprocating it because I've been defending him for years. And, and now I'm stuck sitting across from Skip with nowhere to go because I'm, 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 I'm like, come on, man. Yeah, I need uh, let's Meanwhile, get it on. Uh, that means ridiculous. In the interview, Manny, uh, he was reminded that Vegas says he'd lose the fight if, in fact, he went up against Floyd. He said, I want to remind you, they said that about De La Hoya. A little bit of air. Yep. Uh, moving on. The Bears believe.